Hey everybody, welcome to Ellis Mowers. We've got another riding mower I got on trade here. Um, I'm about to show you, pardon the garage. The garage is in terrible shape because I'm in the middle of another project and I had engine parts and all that stuff all over everywhere. This one just came in today. Sorry if the lighting is bad on it, but uh, it's because it is kind of shiny. <laughs> if I get out of the light, maybe you'll see it a little bit better. It's a Craftsman with a 15 and a half horsepower Kohler. It's a 98 model. It's got the big tractor tires in the back, tractor type tires. All the tires are holding air. Uh, got the hydrostatic transmission on it. And I even have the owner's manual, believe it or not. It's amazing. So this is your model number, 917-249-491. As you can see, I've got a bagger mechanism with it. Oh, he forgot one of his bungees, but I guess that means I get to keep it. So this one came in on trade for the Husqvarna with the pedal-operated hydrostatic that I did an engine swap on. That was a super nice lawnmower. Um, here in my area, I would have listed it for $800. I let the guy have it for six plus his trade on this. Usually, like I said, I only give, I don't usually give more than about a hundred dollars a mower on trade. However, this one looks to be in very nice shape. Or it doesn't look to be, it is in very nice shape. With the bagger attachment alone, it's probably a hundred dollar item. So, especially with how good a shape this is. I mean, look at how clean the headlight lens is on this thing. It's been take well taken care of, very well taken care of. Got a new tire on the left front here, it looks like. Like I said, all the tires are holding air. This isn't a 12 gauge steel deck, it's just the easy three mulching deck. It's a little bit dirty under there, but you know, you can't complain about it. The guy's been cutting grass with it, you can't, you know. We'll check the blades and stuff here in just a second. The reason why he traded it in is because he said he was kind of done with it. And the reason being is because, let me show you if I have the parking brake on over there. The engine is not turning when he tries to turn it over. I tried to show, and he said that he's tried a bunch of different things with the belts off and everything and it's still having a hard time turning over. So I'll see what's going on with it. But as you can see, you turn it. It's trying to move the entire deck here as well. When I check the oil, the oil's a little bit low, but nothing really to be alarmed about. Um, the issue, I don't know what the issue might be. I know sometimes these blade mechanisms kind of get stuck. Which may be what's happened to this because it's trying to move the entire deck whenever it's trying to crank up it's almost like the deck belt's too tight on it for some reason so let me get this owner's manual out of the way i will definitely that's a selling point right there definitely what i'm going to do get the owner's manual out of the way i am going to disassemble the bagger get it off or at least get the shoot off here, which is really easy to do. I'll tell you what, let's y'all can watch me do this. My hand's a little compromised because I stabbed myself with a knife trying to get a starter ring gear off of a Briggs starter. But we still got some life here. Ugh. So this mower is made in 98, like I said. It almost, to me, it almost looks like the mower is 
too far back because it's almost hitting the tire. Now these are supposed to be pretty close to the tire, but still, this is very, very close. So I'm thinking the deck is recessed a little bit too far back and it's tightening the deck or the, um, making the belt too tight. So I've got to figure out why it's doing that. Mechanical, this has got the mechanical blading gauge on it. You call it, you hear a lot of terms mechanical versus cable. They, uh, Craftsman made the switch around the year 2002 or so from a mechanical to a cable blading gauge. This one's got the mechanical on it, um, where it will engage the blades by a bunch of different levers as opposed to a cable and also um, it's got the little manual steering box on it which is by far one of the weaker points of these mowers this one's actually still okay it's very common for them to be loose like this i usually don't worry about them as long as they're steering because it's really hard to tighten them back up but your mounting points we're going to take off are right here there's one i don't know if you can see that clip back there we're going to take off i gotta use my other arm We've got a, the clip right here. Takes that off. The clip in the front, which I've already done. This clip up here for the engagement lever. I'm going to have to get me some helpers. I think it's wired or something. And then I'll show you very quickly on this side just to not eat up a lot of time. You've got your arm right here that you can take off. You can either take it off on the front right here or on the back. You have a clip right here and a clip right there and that'll get your deck off and to, to relieve tension off of the deck I'm just gonna push it forward as well so I'm gonna go ahead and do that what I'm gonna do I don't think I'm gonna take the deck completely off yet I'm just gonna make make it so that there's not enough not much tension on the pulley or just get the belt off the pulley just to see if that helps us out any in terms of trying to get this thing started hopefully it is because like i said it's trying to engage the blades right now so give me a second let me get those mounting points off and we'll see if we can get this thing started all right, so like I said, I just got the deck belt off of the pulley down here, just for kicks. If this thing cranks up and runs, then I don't know. The guy said that he did a lot of work to try and get it to crank, and including taking the belts and stuff off, so I highly, highly doubt that it's going to run. But we're gonna check the battery voltage next after this, pending that it doesn't crank. See if we actually have a good battery. He said it has a good battery in it, too. It can't make 
make this stuff up. You can't make this stuff up. <laughs> I even told him when he was here, and I'm sure that he tried many things. I'm not discounting him one bit. I told him, I said, the deck belt is catching on the deck. You know that, right? He's like, yeah, I've had the belts off of it before. So I don't, I don't know. I think the deck belt is, I don't know if the deck belt's too short for this mower or what. I'll have to check. Um, because this is a 144200 that goes on this mower. Um, so, the, it look, to me it looks short, but as you can tell, that was the problem on it. And that's what I gambled on, and I was right. Let me choke it. I just gotta figure out the deck belt situation. Might have to just buy me a deck belt, pop it on, give it a nice cleaning, send this thing on down the line. Even the oil filter's good on it. I mean, the oil filter almost looks new. I'm just gonna top it off with oil and call it a day. Uh, air filter, let's check it. Uh, air filters. Air filter is very passable, very passable. So that's awesome. This is gonna be a quick flip, guys. I'm excited. Cool. All right, let me figure out this deck belt situation real quick and uh, get right back to you. I have a feeling it's just got the wrong belt on it. If so, I'll get another, another belt and call it a day. Catch you in just a second. All right, so I took the mower deck off, and I found a couple of things that look like there's not quite right with it. Um, this blade, this deck belt guide is not in the right spot because when you engage it, you see that it's going around instead of through the guide there. It's kind of a wonder that it didn't throw the belt. And then on the blade break over here, it actually, the, the belt actually came down and under the, the break, and it was on the opposite side of the break. So there's my length right there that I believe that I need in terms of getting this belt back on. So let me install this deck again. Cause I know it was cutting with this belt, so let me install the deck again and see if that fixes our issue. All right, deck's back on it. It looks like I'm gonna have to adjust it a little bit on the front here, cause it seems like it just sloped a little bit more than it needs to be. So I will have to, it looks like I will have to align the deck on it a little bit. That's no big deal. I just got to take those deck arms off and tighten them up a little bit just to tighten up the uh, top of the, or tighten up the front of the mower a little bit on the top here. But you can kind of see maybe about three or four turns on each side will do it. Um, but I mean, it's prime for testing. Everything looks good on it now. The belt, the belt is loose whenever I have it off. So hopefully, there's enough slack in it. These craftsmen are a little particular when it comes to slack in the belt. Sometimes they'll grab whenever you try and crank them up. 
Let me set you on the tripod. Get my pliers out of the way. I'm clean up my garage here in a little bit. I'm gonna set y'all on the tripod. We're gonna crank this thing up. I'll take you for a ride. We'll test out the blades real quick too after I fix the the guides and such on the deck. So let's do this. Thing. going to do a cycle here just to make sure that it's uh, going to work like it's supposed to. Uh, let me get y'all, oh, I got stuff blown up in the driveway or blown up in the garage here. I didn't mean to do that. I'll move a couple of these things out of the way. That way I can come around and blow some stuff out of the garage while I'm testing here. We're going to have a little bit of time like I said, all I got left to do now, depending that everything works here, is just seriously just wash it, line up the deck, change the blades out. We're done. All right, let's go for a ride. Let's see if it cranks back up or if the belt caught again. Belt's not catching. Those colors are always finicky about the... Uh, about that blade engage or the choke whenever you first crank it up. Eh, my fiance is working on some sign projects there so I'm not going to worry about cutting over there. Oh, uh, I got to I got to clean up my driveway because I had a massive storm last night too. But As you can tell, the steering's a little hard on it. I'll grease it up. I'll blow a little bit off for you. I'm going to pick up the driveway first, though, so I don't. it makes it easier for me in the pine cone department to go ahead and get that stuff off. I mean, look at the thing. idles down like it needs to it's fantastic these Kohler commands are some tough engines when he came to me and he said it's almost like it spun a bearing or something like that I was like I have never ever heard of a Kohler command Kohler courage is a whole different story I've never ever heard of a Kohler command do that the worst that I've ever had to do on one of these engines is replace a flywheel key and I've had to do that twice. But apart from that, these things are beasts in terms of engines. Kohler and Briggs are making some good stuff back in the 90s. So it's kind of why I'm putting a 90s Briggs on that one because I had a compression release issue. That's another video for another day. Um, 
let me pick up my pine cones on the driveway so that it's a little bit smoother i'll give you all a test run as soon as we go up and down the driveway with it i'm going to wash it off sharpen the blades on it and we're going to list this thing because it's ready to go and i may already have a buyer for it i'm going to actually message that person right now all righty already i got some pine straw out the way we can blow it off the driveway y'all know that's my favorite thing to do around here to test things out Park brake on, throttle up. This thing won't crank unless you bump the choke on it, though. Well, maybe not. All right, let me get back here. Oh, I love these. These are by far my favorite riding mowers that you can you can get. I still can't believe this is the only thing wrong with it. <laughs> with that deck belt. Again, like I said, this I need to line up the deck a little bit. It really ain't bad though. Tell you what, let's see if the headlights work. This, 
this lawnmower is awesome. Um, let me, like I said, I'm going to do a lot, a lot of this stuff off camera. I'm going to, because y'all see me do it a lot of times, level the deck on it, which I can go through with you real quick. This one seems like it has a severe slope downward, as you can see. So I'm going to raise up the deck arms a little bit on this on the front of this one i don't think i'm going to touch the sides unless it's misaligned on the side and then i will um, sharpen the blades give it a good cleaning and list this thing i am very very happy with how this one turned out good trade here Some, sometimes you win on trades sometimes you lose on trades this one's definitely a winner and for every winner there is a loser so don't think that this is all this is you know hunky dory all the time but in this case it is let me do what i said and i'll catch up with y'all just a second okay well we're finished with this one now um gave it a nice wash there were a couple of spots that came off uh paint wise right here on the deck i had to spruce up didn't have to repaint the whole deck so just a couple of little spots put the bagger back on it um really really looking nice again i wasn't even trying really hard and uh from the time i got this mower to the time i'm basically finished having it for sale it's four hours so um and like I said, I wasn't even trying. I could have probably cranked this thing out in about an hour and a half if I, uh, you know, didn't stop and do other things while I was doing this. So really easy turnaround, really easy fix. Really happy with how this came out. But I put a, uh, a dust cover and a valve stem cap on here. That wheel is a little bit loose. Um, Again, the mower isn't 100%, but it's about 98. Got the new tire on the left front here. So, um, you know, it's going to be perfect for somebody. Perfect lawnmower. Got a little, couple of little tears in the seat. That's pretty typical of any craftsman of this era. Um, but, honestly, those are about the only cosmetic flaws except for small scratches and stuff on this thing. This thing's in amazing shape to be 22 years old. Kohler runs great. The uh, transmission's doing pretty good. Um, there's a little bitty whine to it, but considering how old it is, it's really nothing to be concerned about. This mower has aged extremely well. So let's take it for a little bit of a spin, or at least show you that it runs and that the blades and everything work on it. Oh, I ended up putting some different blades on it because one of the blades on it was lightly bent or slightly bent. So put some different blades on it. Bagger mechanism looks like it's going to work all right. Here we go. Alright, so that's it um, for this one. Nice little one episode, quick, in, out, done. They don't come this easy most of the time. I'm going to list it for $650. Usually I don't ask more than about $500 for these Craftsman's, but with the bagger on it and with this one being in exceptional condition for its age, um, I think it's worth every bit of $650. And I won't let it leave the house for less than $600. So... I think somebody's going get, to get a good mower. I have a message out to somebody that was interested in a riding mower. Um, I just wanted to, like I said, see what I 
see what I had, you know. Um, didn't have anything this morning whenever she was here. Obviously, tides change. Um, like I said, I gave a $200 credit on trade for this. If I get 60, 650 for it, you do the math how much I'll make off of it. I don't like, I don't brag about that stuff. I'm just telling you that there is money to be made in this if you're smart and lucky. But you got to know what you're looking at. Because whenever he came, I was like, you know, hey, the, uh, the deck belt's catching on the, the pulley here. That's why it's not turning over. But then I had also the uncertainty of he had told me that he had tried to tried it without the belts and it still was doing the same thing so lucky for me it wasn't doing anything weird I just took the deck belt off realigned the deck belt and um, from where it was misaligned and leveled the deck and put some new blades on it and we're ready to rock and roll add some oil it's good so this was an easy one most of them aren't this easy so anyways I'll stop talking here. Thank y'all for watching as always. You can catch me at Ellis Mowers 9 on Instagram and Facebook. You can catch me right here on YouTube Wednesdays and Sundays at 8 p.m. for the next video. Got a lot of more content for, coming for you. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.